Hello everyone. Welcome to Hooks and Stitches. My name's Natasha. I've come on very quickly. Um, it won't be a very long video at all um, because I just wanted to show you what I've been up to uh, because I know I told you about the baby blanket that I was making for um, the one of the teachers at our school and the problem that I had with not having um, enough of the uh, one of the shades of yarn and so I went to the uh, wool shop and um, I had to rethink um, the shade which was almost the same um, but because I was worrying about it being um, not the same um, I just had to buy uh, you know the, because of the colour shade difference I thought well that's fine because if I just buy the one ball, ball because of the last time when I was three um, squares short um, I and that was the reason because um, I couldn't unpick it all because it was um, it was just not um, coming away very easily um, that I ditched it and I thought oh that's fine I only need the one ball because I was three three short last time with one ball and I thought that'd be fine because of chucking it away um, this then uh, last week's one was um, just the whole ball and I thought that would be plenty but it wasn't plenty even though I haven't thrown any away this time I think my um, my squares must have worked up um, looser even though I've used exactly the same needle um, and uh, so maybe that that's the reason that I've come to because I am in exactly the same predicament again anyway I went to the yarn shop where I bought it um, and they had run out completely um, uh, because I found the ball which was um, a, a Woolcraft Baby Care um, DK and it was shade 606 um, Dilot 1704 which probably won't make any difference to you now but there's the ball band sorry about the lighting the sun is shining I'm trying to shut one curtain but i don't want it to be too dark um yeah that's not going to do it because it's really bright um anyway so that was the the ball band um that i bought last week and thought one like i say one would have been fine um to do it because um i thought it was enough because i haven't done any more squares or anything so the only thing i can come up with is the fact that I've just done it looser than what I normally would because I played yarn chicken um, and lost on um, on that square um, but this is it um, and I can't carry on because it's not not the right one so I'm hoping to see if um, she said it may be a few weeks before I can um, get the yarn back in again well obviously the dye lot will be different so I'm not really sure um, how I can do it unless I peel back um, these two um, and then this square to make it a smaller blanket um, but then it would be really tiny so it would only be kind of car seat size and I don't I don't really like the thought of that so I um, went along and my husband came with me and he said well, if that's the case, then you'll just have to change colours. Um, and so I went for a totally different colour this time. And oh, so I thought I would show you before I actually start it off. Now, this light is bugging me. I'm sorry. It's going to be too dark, isn't it? If I don't have it. So you just have to bear with me, I think. Anyway, um, I have gone for these three colours yeah it's not showing up very well is it that's really annoying I'm sorry about this hang on let me see if I can reposition myself Oh, 
I don't want to cut it out altogether because it'd be too dark in here. Um, just about. My lamp's downstairs, so I can't really have my lamp on. That's really annoying because it's so, so bright. It might be just because I can't see it. I don't know whether you would be able to, but until I play it back, I'm not going to know. Anyway, these two. Um, one has the flecks of black. I'm not sure if you can see that properly. Uh, and I did. And I'm going to do that for the um, every other row with the light one, just to make um, the gingham part stick out. And then um, I, because I bought two balls now to make sure I've got enough. And then I'm going to do that on every other wall. Uh, row so it'll be this one and this one on the first row and then this one and this one on the second row to make the squares so I'm hoping that that will look really lovely um, and this is shade 1202 and it's Atlantis by Stylecraft Special DK and this one is shade storm blue and it's one seven shade one seven two two i keep all the ball bands anyway um in the project bags but it's just annoying when you can't actually get the same um and i feel gutted now because i've got to redo the whole blanket all over again um and it's either third time lucky or it was just a, a bad omen. I, I'm not really sure because I've, I've attempted this one. Oh, the sun's gone in now, so that's better. Um, I've attempted this one twice now with, you know, with the same colourway. So I thought, well, it's got to be a bad omen. And, and that's the way I felt about it. But now the sun's just um, not so bright. I can show you again. Um, so I'm going to do this one and this one. Ooh. and then have the white so it this that's what it looks like all together and I've got two of the storm blue so being the yarn shopping so that's fine and I um, I just went to our local um, shop over uh, about five miles away um, from us uh, for that so that's what I've been doing now the sun's come back out again um, the other thing that I've been working on this week um, is just a little uh, v-stitch uh, blanket which is about the size or will be about the size for a car seat um, and that that is uh, what I've been just working up when I've got fed up with doing the squares and this, this one still has the ball band on because I'm working from the middle um, and it is it's all gone a bit floppy this one is Hayfield Spirit um, D DK and it's the shade 0402 but that's just got um, like a, a dark grey colour like a navy and um, blue and a little bit of white in it and it just looks like a, and it's I like just the fact that it's all really quite it's soft and it's squidgy and um, I like the fact that it is pulling from the middle because a lot of these single balls don't like to pull from the middle but this one is doing all right at the moment so that's all I've been working on this week um, so far really uh, because I haven't um, I haven't had much time um, and I've been taking this to work with me so if I finish eating uh, my lunch um, I just sit there and do a couple of rows before I go back to work again so at least it gets two rows done if I don't get anything any time to be done um, with this and although the colour variation um, is a bit unsettling it does my head in because of it being a multicoloured ball um, it's all right. I think I can I can live with the in, 
inconsistency of it because it doesn't do too badly um, in the middle of a row when when it's changing um, and so it's all right I just thought it would be something extra um, to, to put in um, and so that's how I like it but I'll be still using the 3.75 needle uh, because I tend to, that's my go-to um, when I'm using DK, um, unless I want it extra floppy. Um, but I'm worried that I might run out if I go up to a 4.5, so I'm going to stick at the, seven, uh, the 3.75 um, and hope for the best. But the, um, the dark squares in this one that I was using didn't even use 50 grams because I've still got a whole one left. Um, and that 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 I was using was the Knitcraft Everyday DK, and I still have a ball left, and on and that's what I have left of the 50 gram um, afterwards. So it didn't use very much at all, which is why I only bought one of the the feature colour, and then I will just go round the edge uh, with some of the rest um, for the border to make it look okay once I've started the new one. So that's all I um, I have left. Uh, I've got to show you. Um, the only thing I will say is um, it's funny, isn't it? How the sun's just annoying because I can't even see myself. I hope it's not too dark for you. Um, the um, the other thing that I do want to to let you know, and I'm going to concentrate on this week because of it being half term and so I'll have more time to do it even if we go out then obviously I'll take a project with me um, and that is the new animal square um, which is going to be uh, the owl this time because that's been released and I haven't done it yet um, and it will soon be the November one as well so I've got to hurry up and do that really um, so that's the owl square that I want to get done and also um, the baby blanket needs to be done this week, um, ready for next week when we go back. And then the other thing um, is I've got to do the pumpkins um, on the folk art blanket, which um, I haven't managed to get round to yet. Um, but I think that is only five or six, and I think that should only be quite a small project because they're only small anyway. Um, so I'm going to try and get those done and sorted out. Um, and the other thing, I'm not sure if I'm going to get round to it this week, but if I can, I will. And that is to carry on with the white on the Christmas characters blanket so that I can um, get that done. I'm aiming for two colours. Um, in a month now uh, for November because then I can get I should be able to get it done by December and then just put all the details on with the ears and the antlers and the eyes and and so on and so forth and the sun's gone back in so hello I can see you again um yeah so um there's a few things that I want to get done um craft wise so I will update you by the end of the week to show you what I have been getting on with um, I like to have a goal and I've decided that that is what I'm going to do and if I tell you that that's what I'm going to do at least then it keeps me accountable um, but those are the things that I desperately um, need to get done um, and so I will see you very soon um, by the end of the week um, to show you uh, what I've been up to and how far I've progressed on the new baby blanket in these lovely colours that I've just shown you. So um, I would just like to shout out all my new subscribers because I'm over the moon to say that I've, um, I'm have i now over the 400 mark, um, which has really, really got me excited because I'm nearing my 500 goal now. Um, and thank you to all the people that have stayed um, loyal to me and watch me and um, thank you to everyone 
um, that have continued to like my videos and to share them and also um, the people that have been commenting on my videos because it's always nice to know that there is, there are people out there and when you get a comment you actually know that you are um, talking to people <laughs> not just um, I'm not just sat here talking to myself for you to all watch but thank you again see you again soon take care lovelies and happy crafting bye